Welcome back to the channel, VST here, Valence Peace Tech. This is my beautiful Xiaomi 17 Ultra Starry Green, and as you can notice, I'm not able to rotate the ring here. Apparently, that's the Xiaomi 17 Ultra that should have been the Xiaomi 17 Ultra, the Peasants Edition. Why? Well, without having this mechanical ring, sadly, we are also not getting access to like a dedicated camera app and using M3 and M9 like a mouse, which is a pity and I don't think it's fair. Xiaomi, just listen, this is not cool. If you have an ultra phone, just make it ultra. Everything else should be optional and sold separately, but you should not be gatekeeping things from us that we know can be done. For example, the Leica M3 mode apparently can be rendered totally offline, on device, because you know, there is this other fancy stuff, shooting some photos from your phone, going to the cloud, processed by Xiaomi, and anyway. This video is going to be about the globalization of the Xiaomi 17 Ultra. It's a video I already did with my beloved Oppo Find X9 Pro, and the reason for this is when those phones um, come out, like this one here, by the way, uh, nobody really mentioned this, but Xiaomi did the unthinkable and they released the Xiaomi 17 Ultra on 25th of December last year, which means that last year they basically released two Ultra phones, the 15 Ultra in the beginning of the year in February and then also the 17 Ultra and late December. And when you buy those phones out of China, usually when you buy them from some of them China stores like Training Genshin, that's the one I use, or Wanda Mobile, or Gistop, there are many reputable and nice shops out there. Usually those shops will pre-install for you things like the Google Play Store, because that's important. Without it, you're not able to really get basic things and install apps, and yeah, we all need this. Right, remember what happened to Huawei, sadly. So if you don't really trust what they did on your phone, you can always go back and perform and factory reset, which means that when you get the phone out of the box without any intervention from the store, you will not have a Play Store. But listen, in this video, I'm gonna show you what I do to globalize my Xiaomi 17 Ultra Chinese phone to the maximum that I can, and potentially, this is never going to be a global phone. What do I mean? First things first, China is very notorious about this. China phones does not support eSIM, all right? So there's some workarounds, uh, by the way, you can go nine SIM and stuff like this, so this can be easily overcome, but there's some other things that are not working. Some of the China phones do not support the Android Auto. I do believe that the Oppo Find X9 um, Pro does support it. I'm not sure about the Xiaomi, I think rather not. And then there are some other things like not having your location history inside Google on those phones and stuff like this. And of course, not all the bands are included. So if you go outside in the wilderness in a rural area, you might have some issues because you will not have all the bands to aggregate for 5G. But now, I think the last years, it's become more and more evident that, yeah, this is pretty much the same phone. And sometimes, even remember, last year, Xiaomi 15 Ultra, the Chinese phone, the Chinese version had a bigger battery, all right, which is crazy, but I hope that this year all of them will have 6,800. But back to the basics, imagine you get the phone out of your box, you fully erase, reset everything. What you need to do, guys, is the following. Just go inside settings and start typing Google. The moment you start typing Google, there's going to be something called basic Google services. Make sure that this toggle is switched on, right? That's important. And the only other thing that you need to do after this, it's very easy. If you have the Xiaomi 17 Ultra or any new Xiaomi phone from China, click here on the Get Apps. This is kind of like the Mi Store and just start typing Google Play or Google Play Store, right? Not with a mistake like I do right now, but just type it correctly. And if everything is okay, you should have it right there. And by the way, that's crazy because I already have an update on my Google Play Store. Install the Google Play Store from the app that your phone came with. And then you will have the option to log in with your account and basically start using everything else and also synchronize your contact. And it's going to be just almost perfect. Um, remember... All right, Chinese phones come with Chinese keyboards and some of them Chinese keyboards, uh, yeah, let's say they're weird enough for people that don't understand Chinese. So the second thing that I would always do is I'll go and I'll install Gboard. That's very important, install Gboard or let's say any other keyboard application uh, that you're using that will make your life more convenient. So this is 
my choice I'm using Gboard so after having Google Play Store I'm installing Gboard now let's install some other applications that will be important this is this one here so make sure that Google is installed also if you like it install Google Photos Google Maps you know it's more or less like setting up your phone and Google Chrome but we're gonna need also something else that is important and this is gonna be Gemini make sure that you also have the Gemini installed now something that is very very important and it can cause a lot of frustration if you don't get it right and it's a bit hidden in the shammy every time you get a new phone you start setting it up you have to reset all your social apps you know your ex and your telegrams and your fake books and google remembers those passwords but just your phone is not using google to give you or let's say autofill the passwords and it can be frustrating so where is the setting here in the shammy it's a bit weird but you have to scroll down to additional settings then click on languages and input and then there's going to be something called password and account it's going to be a menu called preferred service click that one as well and make sure to choose google here this will allow your phone to query Google and hopefully give you all your passwords for all the 1000 apps that you use, show, show or any others like Spotify, music, media, whatever. So all the field is very, very important. And last but not least, if you wanna pay with this phone, what I also do is make sure to install the Google Wallet. My Google Wallet works absolutely fine. I'm able to pay, but for this to happen, after you install Google Wallet and hopefully you get your cards inside, just go inside a setting, start typing NFC. And when you click on NFC, there's gonna be this setting here, payment default. Click it and make sure that Google Pay is set up here, all right? Uh, because else, yeah, it's not gonna work. Remember, I made you to download Google and also Gemini. And I'm gonna um, share with you why. So basically, if you want to get Circle to Search, you might try to use the default one like the Chinese AI and on the Oppo actually in ColorOS isn't that bad it's actually pretty usable now with the Xiaomi I think everything is almost in Chinese so they have their own version of circle to search I don't really understand what it happened so if you don't want to be dependent on the Chinese AI then you can install uh, workaround to get Google circle to search on your phone. So it's not going to be perfect all the time, but as you can see, it is still going to work. And there are many ways for you to trigger it. For example, you can also put it here as a toggle, or you can, let's say, even download some custom launchers and yeah, then even try to map it um, against some of your buttons. Now, this application is, of course, not included, and it's called the MICTS. I do believe that the latest version is uh, the 2.5, so scroll down here, it's gonna be inside the assets click download the APK put it somewhere on your home screen the first time you click it probably nothing is going to happen and there is a reason for this and this is why I ask you to download the Google app and also the Gemini assistant now how can we make this thing work open the Gemini assistant click here scroll down until you find switch to Google assistant all right don't do anything here but click on the Android default digital assist app, all right? You're gonna see right now my digital assist app is set to Google. Usually it's gonna be this one here, which is the Xiaomi Hyper Xiao AI or whatever, all right? So if you switch this to Google and then you click the MICTS app, there is a high chance that this is gonna work for you. And then as I told you, you can probably put it here on the, the edge like this, or you can just put it here as a quick toggle, right? And then if you hold this and go inside the settings, it's gonna be a different options, mainly for the trigger delay, uh, which is how fast or slow this app should react. But what is very, very important is to understand that every time you restart your phone, sadly, you have to go and reset your default digital assistant to be back to Google. And also when I click here, right, you're gonna see, I'm still going to invoke the Chinese AI, all right? So it's not going to be perfect all the time, but it is still something as a workaround to kind of like make your phone to, be, to appear a, a bit more um, global than it is. And also guys, being Chinese phone has of course some perks because the call recording is going to be set to on by default if uh, you know you're using this. I don't really use call recording, but if that's your thing, yeah, you might 
you want to buy a phone from China uh, and I do believe that this is it we have also the Google wallet or Google pay setup we have the Gboard very important uh, the password autofill uh, and yeah again it's not going to become a full global version but it's going to kind of minimize the disruptions and hopefully your dissatisfaction when you're working with this phone everything else is more or less the same so with these few steps hopefully you can improve the experience that you'll have with your beloved chinese phones and right now the xiaomi 17 ultra is already being my main daily driver you can check some of the videos that i did already on the camera and on the video very very soon also performance testing gta 5 you know how it goes and yeah i know it claps like plastic because it's plastics stay safe yes you over and bye